Dimelang and welcome to the entrepreneurship community, a place where entrepreneurs interact, engage, share knowledge, exchange resources and network. My name is Lueb and I am your host. In this episode, we will cover the steps one has to take in order to get their business or company registered in Botswana. Disclaimer, I will be providing an overview of this process. There can be differences depending on the type of business or company you're setting up or the industry and things like that. So keep in mind that it's not tailored to your specific uh, circumstances. If after watching this video, you still feel unclear on where to go or what to do to get your company registered in Botswana, please leave a comment below or a question and I'll do my best to answer them. Or if you want something more tailored to you, you could leave us an email, it's in the description box. Now, without further ado, let's get into the steps. Step one, you have to reserve your company or business name. The company is an intellectual property authority that are known as FIPA, is the organization that you would approach for this. They facilitate the registration of business or company names. This step is important because it gives you exclusive rights to use that name and it recognizes you as a legal entity. In order to get step one completed, you need to know what you want to name your company. You need to um, provide valid identification. You need to fill out the relevant forms and pay a fee. After you've submitted all the documents needed to reserve your name, you need to wait a couple of days to get it approved. Once it's approved, you will get a certificate of name registration. Then you can move on to step two. Another disclaimer, I'm assuming that before you set up this process, you already knew the type of business that you want to set up, be it an LLC, sole proprietor, partnership, etc. The reason why you need to know this is because depending on the type of business you're setting up, the process could be different, the um, fees that you pay could be different, and the forms that you have to fill out. Now you can move on to step two, which is to register your business or company. In order to get your company registered, you need to approach the Registrar of Companies and Intellectual Property. You will need to provide your name registration certificate, valid identification of yourself and any other persons involved, that is your directors or your uh, partner. You need to complete the forms and hand them in, provide proof of address for the business, and provide the company secretary's information, that is their name, the details, address, etc. At this point, um, this is optional, but it is a requirement. So I say it's better to get it done as early as possible. Once this is done and your company has been registered, you can move on to step three, which is to get a trade license. I got my trade license from the Haberne City Council. Um, however, some people do get it from the Ministry of Investment and Trade. I hope I said that correctly. At this point, the relevant authorities will come and inspect the premises of your business to make sure that it's up to code. For example, if you are manufacturing something, it cannot be done in a residential area, so you have to set up your business in a commercial or industrial area. Step four is easy. It is opening a bank account. Now everybody I'm sure knows how to open a bank account. I got my first bank account when I was like 15. My mom did it for me but she took me with her so yeah. <laughs> you can do your research and find out which bank best suits your financial needs at the new business um, and pick the one that you feel most comfortable with. Make sure you bring with you your identification and your documents to say that your business has been registered in order to get your bank account opened and a small fee to deposit into the account once it's opened. Step five is tax registration. The Botswana Unified Revenue Service, known as VERS, is the organization that you approach to get your tax registration. Here you will get your business tax identification number. You will need to provide all the documentation for your business that you've gathered so far, that is your bank account, your company registration, um, and your identification as well. If your revenue exceeds or is projected to exceed 1 million per annum, you also need to register for value at a tax. 
At this point, we have reached the end of our presentation, but I felt like I could provide some extra gems that could be useful to someone out there. So I decided that I should add step six, which is to register your business for tendering. Not everybody has to do this. I haven't done it yet, but I do intend to. The Public Procurement and Asset Disposal Board, PPADB, that's a mouthful, <laughs> is the organization that you approach to get your business registered for tendering. They are responsible for awarding tenders for government and other institutions. I'm assuming parasitals. Could be wrong. Comment below if I'm wrong. <laughs> if you don't want to go through this whole process yourself, there are two additional options that you can take. I chose to go with a company secretary because I didn't want to go through the process because I felt it was too time consuming because you have to go to this organization and then wait and then this organization and then pay and then wait you know so I just felt like somebody else could just handle the process for me I paid 3,500 to have a company secretary take me through the whole uh, process plus also I wanted it this way because I wanted to be able to choose my company name which leads me to the next option, which is to buy a shelf company. You know, the company's already set up, the share certificate, everything's already done. You just um, change ownership to yourself, and then you basically, it's like buying a company that already exists, but it's just a shelf company and it's not operating. And then you just um, add your details. The only reason I didn't take this option is because I felt like, the companies were already named and I wanted to like build a brand. Why did I do this? I wanted to build a brand. Um, therefore, I thought um, company secretary was the way for me to go. And that brings us to the end again. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode. I hope it was fruitful. Links have been provided in the description box below regarding the organizations mentioned in this video. Please comment. Share this video with your friends and family, like this video, and please, please, please subscribe to this channel. I have more entrepreneurial content coming your way. I will see you in the next episode. Salam sint!